Hey everybody. We are live from the Ume Plum Blossom Festival here in Tokyo. This is Yoshima Tenji in a shrine not too far from Ueno in Tokyo University. And you can see the Ume Blossoms are out in here in Tokyo. And this just kind of creates spring fever on another level because when you do come here, and I try to avoid coming to Ume Blossom Festivals, it make you, it, it, it ruins you because you can't wait for the cherry blossoms anymore to come. So now I'm going to take you around this area and take a look at the cherry, at the, I, I keep saying cherry blossoms, at the Ume Blossoms. And joining me on this report is Kanai. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, you're asking them. <laughs> it's it's a kind of warm day, but the thing about spring in Tokyo, or at least like the end of February, is it's deceivingly warm. So always wear more layers than you need in in the end of February, even if it's sunny and warm. All right, take it, check it out. Hey, Catherine, how you doing, everybody out there? So yeah, the, the cherry blossoms have not bloomed, but the ume blossoms have. So what you're looking at right now is the first signs of spring, which is almost always at the end of February. So if you come in February, at the end of February, there's a chance you're gonna be able to see some of these blossoms. And they're very similar to the cherry blossoms, the sakura, but they're different too. It's just similar, but different. And there are scenes here with uh, a bridge. I guess we can't go there, but a lot of people are taking pictures here. It must be something famous. Oh, there's a lovely lady in a kimono. I don't know, I guess this is a place to get the picture. You can pose with the, the red umbrella in the background. And it's a, I guess they have festivals here and tea ceremony, and they do other kinds of uh, cultural events. This. And right there, it's, it's written Ume Matsuri, or Plum Blossom Festival. That's what that means right there. Have you, is this your first time to come here? Hajime te kita. Maybe three times. Yeah, about three times before. But, yeah. This is where a lot of students will come to pray for success in exams and stuff. In fact, I'm gonna take you to a place in a couple of minutes that shows you where everyone has, has written their onegai or wish for something scholastic about school. It's, it's uh, that kind of shrine because it's very close to Tokyo University. Very close. I came here too. Oh, you came here? Yeah. When was the last time you came here, Kanai? Uh, one year ago. A year ago? Yeah. Why didn't you take me? <laughs> I, came, I came here with my dad. Oh, with your papa. Yeah. Okay. And you can also see here, that there's, the, there's the shrine over there. Oh wow, they got Amazake. How dare they? I saw her pouring the Amazake. Wow. I love Amazake. Do you want some Amazake, Kanai? Yeah. Oh, he beat you. All right, we can get one. Oh, let me see. Yeah, we can share one. Here, I got 500 yen. There you go. So we can get some amazake. It's 300 yen. Or about $3 for a cup of amazake. No. Here it comes. Oh, I can smell it. All right, show us that really delicious amazake. Oh, it's piping hot. It's very hot. You can see, hold it steady, dear. You can see the pieces of rice in there. That's how you know it's good. Good. All right. Thank you, Nosh. Nosh is taking care of us. We, we just finished up the almonds you left us, Nosh, by the way. <laughs> That was a big bag you gave us, Nosh. Thanks for that. Kanai's uh, um, kind of blowing it down because it's uh, super hot. 
Wow, fish tempura. Oh, this is crazy. I didn't, I didn't expect, yeah, I didn't expect all the um, street food, can I? This is the um, Hiroshima version of okonomiyaki, right? I don't know, I've never seen it. Yeah, it looks really good. And it's, this is about $4.50, $5 for one of these. Looks really good. And they've got over here uh, fish tempura. I'm, I, I'm kind of curious about this. I, I want to get back to the sakura blossoms in a second, but let's go take a look at the food. All right, fish tempura. I mean, what fish is it? Nano, nano sakana. Wakasagi. Oh, uh, wakasagi. Ah, yeah, it's written in hiragana right there. Wakasagi. Take a look here. Oh, there's the oil. And he's putting it deep fried wakasaki. It's, it's good. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Should I, you want to get some or the okonomiyaki? Yeah, they can try. Have you ever tried wakasagi tempura before? I probably did, but I didn't. When I did, you I probably didn't know what it was. Here. But I can't uh, I can I, I can hold the amazake. It. I'll switch with you. Can you hold this? Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, you want me to hold the amazake? Yeah. I've got two hands. Yeah, Here we I go. Can. All right. Don't so right now, be yeah, right now, he, I think, he, I think very soon he might start to fry some more wakasake. <laughs> This is really good. It's not too sweet. Yeah. I don't like amazake when they um, put a lot of artificial sweeteners in it. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's too sweet and tastes fake. This one is good. There's very little sugar in it, if any at all. So Kanai is going to get us some of this um, fish tempura, which is wakazaki. Wakazaki. Ah. I love that sound. Sounds good. That's a that's such a wonderful sound. I don't know if you can hear it, the mic is only on this side. But the um sound of boiling tempera oil is nice. It's, it's a really pleasant sound. So while Kanai is getting that, let's go back to the flowers. Um, the okonomiyaki chef has made some progress. He's starting to flip right now. Those are big. They're not easy to flip. Guy's a master. Mm. It's about 2, 2 p.m. Even niji de show. Daitai niji niji. Right, let's go take a look at these cherry blossoms again. It, sorry, I keep saying cherry blossoms. They're ume. Plum blossoms. They're plum blossoms. Yeah, check it out. I, I like the fact that this place has lots of places to sit as well. And they've covered it with a red tarp. And you can just sit there and really appreciate the cherry blossoms, the uh, ume blossoms. I am so in spring fever mode. For me, it's already like March 25th and I'm sitting underneath the, the cherry blossoms. By the way, we're going to do a meetup, a fan, a viewer meetup um, for the cherry blossom seasons at the, uh, around between the 20th and the 25th of March. Oh, there's a wedding going on. There's a wedding. I can get kekon shiki to show. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, that looks so good. Stop it. Just stay right there. Stay right there. Oh my gosh. Whenever you get food at a festival. You can see wedding. Oh, that looks so good. Just the oil and the. Just hold it steady. It, the oil and the. Um, fish, the tender meat. It's got to be really good. Hold on a second. E. Yeah, I don't want to drop it. I've done I've done that before. <laughs> Glistening in the sun. Oh man. All right, we got to try this here. Mm. 
Do you like it? It's a little bit bitter, but it's got a, it's such tender meat to it. Totally worth 500 yen. How many I know? Yeah, I want, but I have a chocolate. Okay. The pepper cup. I don't know. Those of you in the U.S., would you eat this? What do you think? Leave a comment right now. We got Aseo writes in cringe. <laughs> I got. And here in the bottom of it is the, the final pieces of rice. Can I took that amadake down? She doesn't drink alcohol. I do. <laughs> I'll drink the sake. She can take the amazake. Yeah, amazake is very healthy. It's good for Yeah, there's enzymes in the amazake. It is actually in the middle of an amaz amazake boom in Japan. Yeah, you used to not be able to find it at the supermarket, and now there's maybe 10 different varieties of amazake sold at the supermarkets, which is pretty incredible. Um, but there are some health benefits to it. Every, I guess every couple of years, there's some big health boom or some trend in health. Right now it's amazake. Before it was like coconut oil and they had um, um, that acai juice, remember? We go in steps and right now it's almond milk and the yeah. yeah, almond milk and amazake. It's, yeah, it's a superfood, Nosh writes in. The great thing about amazake is that it's a food that you drink, but it's very much like soup. So it'll uh, quench your thirst and also fill you up. And that's, that's really nice in the winter because you need extra energy to battle the cold. Extra energy to battle the cold. So Kanai is eating that there. How is it? Good? Ooh, I like it. All right. Hmm. Good. Very nice. All right, let's take you around this area here. And I want to show you where some of the students will write their onegai or their wishes on here. I'm hoping to get into Tokyo University, which is like the Harvard of Japan. Oh, there's the wedding. Are we allowed to take pictures? I don't want to do anything that would be wrong because the internet would, would rip me apart. Here, oh, here they are. Everybody has written their, their dreams. This is the year of the boar, it's, but it's going to be anything but a boring year. You see, everyone has written, almost everybody, something about study. Can you, let's read some of them. Can we do that? Is this like private? I don't know. I don't want to break the law. She wants to get to go to university. Yeah, I see that. They just basically, everybody is trying their best here to go to university. I hope they can get in too, but the only limited amount of spots. Only the best in the br Oh, look, yeah. All right, let me take you up here to the, to the um, front of the shrine. And you can see the wedding going on. This is a very special moment, everybody. Kind of a treat. This is a Japanese wedding going on right in, inside there. We did it like this. Yeah, we did it like this too, didn't we? <laughs> kind of similar, we had our wedding. You can see the bride and the groom there. That that hat was pretty heavy, right? What my hat? Yeah, when you had to wear the the no the one for the wedding ceremony it looked like it was very heavy. So it's um, not it's not heavy, but so. it's kind of difficult to move my head. Like oh, this. it's yeah, it's like gonna be down. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I, so didn't, I couldn't shake my head. Shake yeah, my you head. can't move your head or it'll fall, it'll fall off. <laughs> now, these are the uh, omikuji, right? And the omikuji are wishes that you will write. Or, sorry, sorry, you'll pay 100 yen usually and you'll get a fortune. And if it's bad, you can tie it here and it won't come true. And if it's good, you tie it here and it will come true. So basically, you're going to end up tying it here. Unless it's a, you know, lukewarm dream or, or wish or fortune, and then you, you know, we'll just probably put it in your pocket. Yeah. All right, here's the, here's the, the whole picture of the ume blossoms. Usually, ume blossoms are not as big as the sakura. There aren't as many of them. I don't know why, they're not as, as impressive a flower. Oh yeah, that one looks like a mountain. <laughs> They're not as impressive as a flower as uh, the sakura. I guess the, the blossoms aren't as big. I'll take you a little bit closer to them in about a minute. Let me turn your attention over here. 
There's another beautiful one. And it does look so much like the cherry blossom, doesn't it? Look at that white blossom. Oh, man. Here's another mountain of wishes. There's so many of them. They're just bulging out. Typically, you don't see so many, but the amount of wishes that people have here are incredible. Look at this. That's a lot of people want to go to Tokyo University. And I think it's, it's, it's only like a, a few thousand people can go there every year. Although the, there is a medical school, there is a, a, there are really good business school, there's different kinds of schools in there, but... Where's yours? Is yours here from when you were a kid? Or did, <laughs> when you were in university, did it? She's like, no. <laughs> it's got to be deep in there. If yours is in there. Do they, I guess they clean this every year though, right? I know that they get rid of these at the end, uh, in certain times of the year to start fresh again. Maybe on April 1st. Emma, Emma. Yeah, these are Emmas. Emma. Peter and I went over the Emmas when we did the um, um, Sugamo episode. Oh, yeah. You can buy an Emma for 500 yen in Sugamo and put it in with the little stuffed animal, the big stuffed animal. Yeah, it's very nice. All right, let's go take a closer look at these flowers. And then I want to go to the to the stairways. The um, what's it called? Me, uh, me, meteo zaka. Meo te zaka. I'm gonna take a look at the stairways. This is probably the most impressive, and this is where I took the thumbnail for this episode. And I'm, I still might change it, but you can see here. This is a smaller ume tree, and uh, I'm gonna get really close to the flowers now because this has a nice. This has a really nice um, bloom to it. Yeah. It is really, really stunning. The, the petals aren't as big as the cherry blossoms, the sakura, but it just depends on the variety. Each, each flower has its own, own shape and color. Ume blossoms to me though, when I think of plum, I think of the purple ones. These are the white ones, don't, don't get them confused with sakura because I always get them confused with sakura. <laughs> Alright, let's, I, get, I guess that's a really good, good question. That's a really good question. They have a slight fragrance to it, it's not as strong. Ah, here's the name of it. They, they usually in the trees will write the name. What is this called? Judo Komachi. Ju meaning ten. All right. I, I, are you sure that's the name of it, or the or the the town that do donated the tree? Maybe. It's hard to know. You didn't finish your fish tempura. You want it? I know you can have it. Right, I want to show you this purple one here. Now, protect the flowers. They have a walkway with ropes. Don't try to be a hero because there's so many people here watching you. The, some old guy will probably um, grab you and bring you back to reality. All the Instagrammers here, <laughs> they're all trying to get the best pictures. Now, the zoom lens on the iPhone isn't as good, but you, I'll see if I can find another one. But you can see the purple color to it. To me, this is the ume blossoms. And I used to live in a town, a city called Mito in Ibaraki Prefecture. Now, we say Ibaraki. It, it, it sounds more like a G than a K for the people who live there. But I used to live in Mito. And when I lived there, I, there's a park. One of the oh, three. Kairaku. Yeah, Kairaku. It's one of the three big parks in Japan. The other one is in Okayama, Kanazawa, and Mito. And they're famous for ume. And if you're here in Japan and you have a day to spare, jump on the Joban line or the Hitachi Express and go up to Mito and get off at, at that, that exit because it is absolutely stunning. Now these look like, these look like um, they have a, a little bit to go, a little bit of time to go. This might even be Sakura. I think the Sakura blossoms are going to be blooming in, a, in about three weeks. It's going to be super early this year because we've had a, a very warm, a very warm winter, comparably. Yeah, I would love to go to Mito. Um, I just did, if, if you guys saw the drive through did you see the drive through ramen episode? Did yes. you see the drive through ramen and the drive through sushi episode? That's Ibaraki Prefecture. That's the same prefecture as Mito where the flowers are. And that was one of my ideas um, to drive up there and do it, but we just ran out of time. Um, and we were a little bit early. Those blossoms start blooming about a week ago, so they're probably close to peak. 
Actually, I think like like um, next week would be the best time to go to Mito, right? For the umes. Yeah. The end of February would yeah. be really beautiful. We should go there. Yeah. Wow, I see we've got all our moderators in the house. We've got Jim, Tim, and uh, Nosh here. It's pretty amazing. All right, a couple of things that I want to show you. I'm going to take you through underneath that bridge over there in a second. This is where they have the omamori, right? Yes, omamori. Omamori are, are um, spiritual charms, kind of like uh, things that will protect you from evil spirits. Yeah, I put my school bag, this omamori. Ah, which one? Uh, maybe for studying? Yeah, study you can get, omamori. It, it helps you study? Exam. Or it keeps the evil spirits from, from making you drink booze and thus ruining your study. One of our friends is here, actually. This is, this is what the uh, Yushima Tenjin looks like, the grounds around here. And there's the bridge that I'm, we're, gonna t we're gonna go underneath next. That's what it looks like. And that, that red spot, uh, just above the uh, ume blossoms, that green area is where we are. Our, our friend who makes the Japanese candy, the Amezaiku, is here. Is he here or his shop is here? Let's go take a look and see what, we, what he has on offer. But there's a lot of local businesses. This is another reason why I, like, I love these, these smaller festivals. A lot of these local businesses are here selling goods. It's a good way to support your neighborhood by coming to these festivals and buying some things that are on offer. But this is called Amezai. This is called Amezai. And, and I made an episode on this on the main channel. Check it out. Each of these is really kawaii. <laughs> oh, there's the Pikachu looking one. Oh, there's no Pegasus one. So, 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 YouTube. <laughs> Hi. So, I do <laughs> あ、可愛いね。あ、可愛いね。あ、すごい。すごい可愛いですよ。ね。それはウメですね。ウメだね。That's it's a Mejiro. I read it wrong. <laughs> yeah, they are edible. They are edible. Look at they're too. Uh, the candy, the uh, Amezaki is too, too, too beautiful to, to eat, isn't it? Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. Hey, they remember. They remembered us from the YouTube video. That was funny. Oh wow, this is a great view too from back here. I'm just gonna pan around. And this is we're at one of the entrances. There's a little waterfall here. And then we're gonna walk through there. I love that right here, the sun hitting it from this angle. The thing with blossoms, when you take pictures of them, you kind of find out where the angle is. Just behind it, you can see on the right side a waterfall. Small waterfall, it adds a little bit of sound to it. If I pan over here to the left, you can see the one of the bridges with the red umbrella that we were showing you about 10 minutes ago. Thanks UFO Bob. Yeah, if you guys want me to keep keep going, hit click that like button. Oh, there's umeshu. Oh, umeshu is um, alcohol made from the um, actual plum, Japanese plum called ume, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to make. In fact, we made some last year that's ready yes. to drink. It's an umeshu. We can eat. I would oh, drink we can, it. We can drink it. Yeah, so we made some alcohol from umeshu um, last year, and it's I think it's just about ready to drink. But this is umeshu. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jordan. Guess what, Jordan? I sent you two. 
Jordan. So you got two of them on the way. I sent one from this month. Uh, this is the Postcard Club on Patreon, and I sent one from last year to say thank you to everybody. Um, I had a couple of extra ones, so thank you so much, Jordan. I appreciate it. Can I appreciate it too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Jordan. The postcard, I, the second postcard, I just put in the mailbox before we came here. Oh. Wow, it's it's like it's so cool to see Jordan just pop up here. <laughs> oh, these are sembe, and they're making them fresh here on the grill. Maybe not exactly right now, but uh, but basically they they, some, they will press the. Oh yeah, he's not grilling them. Very cool. There's no better crispy taste food in Japan than like sembe that is right off of the char griller, the barbecue. Oh, it's so good. And they got some pretty good offers on here. Is that, that the spicy one? Maybe your mom likes it. Oh, this is the one my mom likes? Yeah. These are really spicy little sembe. Sembe come in all different kinds of sizes and flavors, but it's basically just a rice cracker that has different flavors on it. and. Um, it's crunchy, so it goes good with, with uh, drinks, and it's, it's relatively healthy. It's pretty healthy. Maybe not, you don't want to eat too many because it's, it's kind of salty. But sembe are, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite snacks because it's so easy, to, so easy to eat and find, and, and they preserve pretty good. Oh, do you want a nikuman? What is that? It's sake manju. Sake manju. Let's get one of those. Okay. <laughs> do you still have the gohyakuan? Oh, get two then. Do you do you still have the gohyakuen I gave you? Oh yeah, okay. Kanai's gonna get two for us. All right, there's a crowd. Can you fight the crowd? Yeah, I should. online. Oh, get in the line. One of the biggest sins in Japan is line cutting. You, they, the society will just tear you down if you ever cut in line in Japan. Never do it. Hey, Jose. Jose writes in, hey, John, I'll be in Tokyo in two weeks. How's the weather looking? Um, Jose, that's a great question. The weather in March is pretty, it's, it's kind of between summer and, sorry, sorry, winter and spring. So dress in layers. Co nights are cold. Days can be warm with the sun, um, but it's deceivingly warm, meaning it's, it, it's, it's still cold and, um, we have something in Japan called Sankan Shion, and it was an old guy who told me this, someone in his 80s. Sankan Shion is, uh, it'll go like uh, three days three days warm, uh, three days cold and four days warm. Three days cold and four days warm. And it goes in this pattern where there'll be a really cold spell and then it gets really warm again. And then it does this like several times and then spring breaks. Oh, you got it. Spring breaks and then it's warm. Then, then spring is really here. It's hot. Oh, wow. Which one is mine? Yeah. I guess the one I just touched. Oh, it's soft. They it's feel like implants. Oh, look. <laughs> it's nice shaping. Well, I wouldn't know what they feel like. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this looks really good. It smells good. So this is sake inside? I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm. Well, what is it? What's the flavor? It's a Anko, red beans inside. Okay. I think they put uh, sake yeah. for this. Uh, I just like feeling. Skin. I just want to touch the top. It's so. <laughs> it's like one of those squishies. How is this food? Mm. How is that? How is that food? It's very soft. Mm. I like it. I like it. Mm. Very mm. It's sweet. Um, it was a hundred yen or like 90 cents. I'm, I'm trying to go with exact conversion rates for the exchange rate. I think it's 111 yen to the dollar. Mm, very nice. Very, very nice. For this joining us right now, we're um, at the Ume Festival in Yushima Tenjin, in very close to Ueno. And we're out here visiting, visiting someone who just got out of surgery. So 
There's a hospital nearby, so we're gonna go there. And then you get back to work. Look at that, she's wearing the hat. I'm a hat guy, I like that. Oh, she's, so she's wearing the hat to promote the product. What is that, like a wiener? Like a hot dog? It's Kalinton. Kalinton is then onion. Like a sweet rice cookie. A sweet rice cookie. So her hat represents the... Is it soft? Oh, crunchy. Okay, I've never had that. There's so many things I haven't had in Japan. I've been here for 20 years and I'm still... Still a beginner. This is why when you come here and you come to festivals, try everything. Just start buying stuff. If you don't know what it is, just buy it. If there's a line, it's got to be good. All right, let's go underneath the bridge here. That's where the, the uh, bride and groom walked about 30 minutes ago in his live stream. I'm going to walk underneath there and take you to... I, I, I think that's where the stairways are. It is a really pretty, sh pretty little shrine. Wow, our friends from Aomori are here. Aomori representing. Nice. Aomori apples are the most famous in, in Japan. There's big, big Fuji apples. Oh, look at that, yeah. I think I gotta make a trip up to Hirosaki to get some apples. A little apple episode. These are Sun Fuji, $2.50 for one of these apples. Delicious. I, I, I'm always afraid to take a free one because then I, I want to buy it. But I can't carry the apple. I already know what they taste like. Yeah. They got the Hirosaki. Oh, that's not Hirosaki. That's, uh... Hirakawashi's uh, Cherry Blossom Festival going on there. I know. Aomori apples are huge, but they're so good. And we are now underneath the bridge. Oh, they have more. More Ema. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of Ema here. Wait, what's this here? There's a lot of stuff I don't know. What is this here? Oh, after a year, you return it for destruction, I guess, right? They burn it? So you bring the charms back to get a new charm. <coughs> After a year, you can make an offering. Yeah, it's a good business they got going on. There's even more Emma here, more Unegai for studying. This is again for people joining us, the, Ch the Plum Blossom Festival, the first festival of spring. It's the rebel flower. It's the one that, it's not the cherry blossom, but it's the first, it's the first one in, a, in the line towards spring that comes out. I call it the rebel flower. Oh, this is the one. Look at these. Yeah, you can see the purpleness of these. Now, the, these will turn white like this. This is a rebel right there. This one popped out before all the other ones. But for me, plum, plum blossoms are the rebel blossoms. They're like in that movie Braveheart. You saw the line, the first group of crazy people that go running in, in battle. They go, ah, you know they're not going to make it. These plum blossoms don't la don't make it either. They they last so so quickly, like the life of a samurai. Life is precious and short, and we're here just for a moment. The beauty's there, and then it falls and drops, and that's the duality of life. I guess I could say it like that. It's hard to be poetically give poetic justice to the beauty of something in a live stream. You have to rely on rely on copious amounts of sugar from amazake and other foods. You can hear the koto in the background. Someone's playing the koto, which is a traditional Japanese harp. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, this one's pink. Check it out. 
Oh, wow. There's so much beauty in nature, isn't there? The little boy just ran underneath it. <laughs> I shook the whole thing. So much beauty in nature. Kai is getting, it, getting her shot. I bought her an Olympus camera last year with a 20 millimeter 1.7 lens. F-stop 1.7 for that nice creamy bouquet. Hey, where's everybody watching? Why don't you write in here at this time, the live stream, where you watching from? We've got a very global audience sharing a lot of interest in Japan, coming here to visit. Here's the uh, performer playing the koto. Wait, was that a recording? That's a good recording. I thought there was somebody there. This is a recording. Wow, Georgia, Malaysia, San Francisco, Pluto, Bonsai. There's always one person who names a planet. <laughs> There's always somebody who set the eighth planet. All right, let's take a look in here. This is the Tokyo University Manga Kurabu. This is the Tokyo University Manga Club. I was saying manga like an American, manga club. That's crazy. How, how is it to, the Todai ma Manga Club? Where's Kanai? Some guy's asking her about what I'm doing. That guy, that guy stole my wife? Hey, Kanai, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Huh? Nani yutta no? Uh, he said, where is you? Where are you from? Would you tell him my typical joke? I'm from my mother. Yeah, I said uh, he's American, but he is living in Japan 20 years. That's right. He tell him. He's almost Japanese. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Yeah. It's very confusing to people when they look at me. I look <laughs> Japanese. So this is a um, uh, the Tokyo the Todai Man. Ma manga, manga club. Wow. And it's for and they, they will draw you for charity. I'm up for that. We're running out of time though. Oh. We try face portrait. Yeah, let's do a face portrait and for five hundred yen we'll do two people. Good. Yeah, it's for charity. I have it. Oh you have it? Okay. Let's do it for charity. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. If, I don't know if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna do this. That's pretty good. This is something. Maybe we should put this just on Instagram, right? Yeah, we'll put this on Instagram. I think. So let let's do this. So we're gonna do do this for, to support the, just for fun and, and support the. the Tokyo University students are, are drawing um, portraits for charity. I think that's a pretty cool idea. So we're going to do that. I hope you enjoyed this this uh, look around um, uh, Yushima Tenjin. This is a shrine that's very famous here in very famous here in Ueno. And a lot of university students come here to pray for success getting into school. And at this time of year, in the end of February, it is also famous for having the plum blossoms. There are some events here. There's a lot of street food and festival food. And if you're in Japan right now, you might want to make your way here. Enjoy a little taste of spring and what it's going to be like in a couple of weeks. Oh, they're going to play the drums. How dare they right at the end of my live stream. All right, so we're going to end with some drum playing, I guess. Oh, it's just kids. kids. They have a future. Can, will you dance for us? Can you dance to this? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Oh, hey, hey, Jim, thank you. So Jim just bought us the drawing. <laughs> Jim, that's too kind of you, buddy. That's too kind of, thank you. All right. All right, so let's go get that drawing. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the picture of it on Instagram because I, I, I think we should ask permission for them in order to, to for us to film it. But I think it'd be it'd be something cool where you, we could see the final product. Uh, so check out the Instagram if you're not always fo following there. Um, what is it? Instagram.com only in Japan TV one word. You can find it there. I right, guess have a really wonderful day or night wherever you are. Uh, this is the end of this is the end of the weekend for us. Tomorrow starts Monday. We're 12 hours ahead of the United States, depending on. I guess it's like 13 or something, but have a good weekend, everybody. See you in the next live stream. Have a nice weekend.